When the IUCN published its comprehensive and constantly updated red list in 2012, over 20,000 animal species were threatened. That alone was a 16% increase in the figure given on the previous report. This is a mind-blowing number. And though the amount is still comparatively small when compared to the number of species officially described, you can still imagine the huge loss of biodiversity that each of these animals take with it when they're delivered to oblivion. I've always been interested in animals, ever since I was a little boy playing with toy animals. I'm not afraid to admit it today, but even if I have some free time, I will play with my Lego Zoo. Later on, however, through books, TV programs, and the internet, I realized how severely the problem of shrinking biodiversity negatively affects us, our planet, and at the end of the day, its long-term survival. As a result, I started thinking of what a tiny boy like me and thousands others like me could do to stop this tragedy from unfolding further. So I came up with a dream, a dream and a project a project which was called YARH. YARH stands for Young Animal Rescue Heroes. And young people can be the real heroes of this day and age if they manage to protect the species which are currently in danger of being obliterated. How do the heroes go about their mission, some may ask? Well, simple, there's something for everyone. Awareness. Awareness is one of our key tools. Without awareness, actions that could be undertaken at a very low cost may not even be taken into consideration because they're simply not thought of. And awareness is a powerful tool that does not necessarily need millions to be spread around. Awareness is the fact that you and I are here today. Awareness is all of us going back to our friends and families at the end of this talk with our new experience, our enhanced knowledge, sharing that and by doing so, expanding the message every day through new channels. Recycling. When paper and other materials are recycled, we save trees and spare the environment from the dumping of noxious elements. In Kenya alone, YRH has found marvelous partners and corporate actors, such as Chandaria Industries, a long-time recycling pioneer, and other companies, of course. YARH docu-series. This is a TV series we're currently still planning in the piloting stage. We want it to be educational for young people and the youth, and yet engaging, helping them expand and widen their knowledge on the environment and wildlife at the same time. Ideally, the knowledge gained should not be for its own sake, but prove to be action-oriented towards behavioral change. Our wildlife is facing increasing problems as humans and animals vie for partly overlapping habitats. And it will only be in a little bit of time that we need to find out that these encounters should not be competitive and confrontational. Coexistence is possible. We must jointly strive to protect our common future on this planet. Thriving wildlife in our parks, after all, translates into benefits such as more jobs, tourism, and a well-balanced environment. We should be proud of the rich African biodiversity and protect it at all costs. As today's youth, we must try to put right what previous generations have done wrong. And that is why we are working hard to make YARH a more effective force. In the meantime, Think of yourselves as meaningful players. In a game, we do not want to lose out on our planet and us. Do whatever you can to spread the message that, after all, saving endangered animals is saving ourselves. Thank you.